Hey YouTube, my name's Zach and I'm the creator of Cassandra Mar and today I'm going to kick off a new series of tutorials explaining how to create your own website from scratch for free. And the reason why I'm doing this series when there are so, ma uh, so many others out there on YouTube and Google and ask is because most of them either teach you how to make a web page and then quit or there just aren't any more tutorials in the series after the first or second part. So. I decided to do this one which will teach you everything from downloading a web server for free onto your computer to the basics of HTML, CSS, and PHP which, are, which is what we're going to be using to develop the site and to putting the site out there on the web where it can be viewed worldwide. So let's get started. First thing, if you have Internet Explorer 8 or another Internet Explorer, another web browser that allows you to um, view the HTML, the code behind any given website, any given web page, then it's going to come into use in the following weeks. What I mean by that is if I press F12, I have Internet Explorer 8, and it brings up the developer's tool page, and it allows me to view the HTML code behind the website. So, if I look at the HTML code for the home page of YouTube, it's a lot of HTML, but if I look at CSS, it's got a little bit of CSS, um, it's got JavaScript, it's got all this stuff, but it's predominantly HTML. And the same would be, we'll go for Google. Oops, oh, spelled that wrong. <laughs> okay. Well, this applies anyway. If I press F12, You can see that this site uh, has HTML. It doesn't really have, hmm, doesn't have CSS. It has a little bit of JavaScript, but it's predominantly HTML. And that would go for every website that you can think of. Um, so, obviously, HTML is extremely important in the development of a website. Luckily, it's easy, though. HTML really involves two things tags and what go in tags let's do a font that should be good okay tags look like this now They also can look like this. And the difference is pretty obvious. Basically, it's a forward slash. So, why is there a forward slash on the second tags? Well, these second tags, the second set of tags, are in tags. Basically, this HTML tag says, okay, this is the start of the HTML script. This HTML tag says, this is the end of the HTML script. This body would say, okay, this is what's going to go in the body of the web page. And this says, this is the end of the body of the web page. So, first off, we need to basically tell the web browser that it's an HTML program and that's how we do it everything that's gonna go on the website or the web page I mean is gonna be within these two tags so if I type in hello world and I save this I'm gonna go to save as test.html and I'm gonna save it under all files And I double click on this. You can see that I get hello world. But if you look at this, you look at this tab, it gives a file directory which really isn't a nice um, part of the site. In fact, if you look at this right here, 
this says thanks for visiting. And let me just read this to Google. We'll go to Google. It says Google. If I go to YouTube, it will say YouTube broadcast. So, so the way we get a title in there is first by adding a head tag. We'll learn more about this later. I'm going to end the head tag. All beginning tags have to have an end tag. And we're going to add a title tag. And let's end that title tag. So as you can see, within this title tag, we have Hello World. So we're going to go ahead and go to File, Save, and let's refresh the web page. And it says Hello World in the title, but now there's nothing in this space. There's nothing in the body. So, we're going to go ahead and declare another tag. It's going to be the body tag. I'm going to type in Hello World within this. And then I'm going to save it, and I'm going to refresh the web page. And we get Hello World as both our title and Hello World in the body. But the Hello World here, there's two things wrong with it that I can see. Really, it's not big enough, and it's not in the center of the web page. So we fix this first by adding an H1 tag. H1 tags around the hello world and makes it a little bit bigger also there are H2 and H3 tags and the H2 is a little bit smaller than the H1 and the H3 is a little bit smaller than the H2 so anyway we need to make this centered and the way we do that is we add a center tag around the or we add center tags around the H1 tags so let's go ahead and save this. And as you can see, we have Hello World as our title. And Hello World in bold text, headline text, in the center of the web page. So now, what if we want to link? What if we want the user to be able to click on this Hello World and have it take them to YouTube? Well, there's an easy way to do that. And that's basically by typing in actually a href h r e f equals quotation mark http colon forward slash forward slash youtube dot com. Okay. Then after that, let's end the a tag. And this is this a ref equals the link, blah, 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 whatever it might be. This gets displayed, but this is behind that line of text. It's going to take you there, even though the text says hello world. So if I refresh this, we get a link. And the link looks pretty good, but I don't really like its color. Um, and actually, kind of running out of time here, so in the next tutorial, we're going to learn a little bit of CSS, which is going to fix the caller and uh, fix this underline here. We'll also learn how to change the background color of the web page, how to add um, some simple elements and panels, and how to get the site started. See you then.